Lead acid batteries are the battery type that has been historically used most often in the solar industry. Some of their advantages are the lowest upfront cost, so the cost to purchase the battery upfront is lower than other battery technologies. Lead acid batteries also have a relatively wide operating temperature range, so we can use them in sites that have less than optimal temperatures. Lead acid batteries, since they've been around for so long, are really easy to recycle. When you recycle a lead acid battery, about 95% of the content of the battery is reused, which is great for the environment. They do have some disadvantages. We talked about depth of discharge, and with a lead acid battery, they have a relatively low depth of discharge because if we use too much of the capacity of the battery, the batteries will wear out sooner, so it will impact their cycle life. Compared to other battery technologies, lead acid batteries have a relatively low cycle life in general, which means they're not going to last quite as long as some other batteries like lithium ion batteries. When you look at the cost of a lead acid battery per kilowatt hour, so that's how much energy you can get out of that battery over the life of battery, and then look at the number of cycles that you're going to get out of the battery, they tend to be relatively expensive because they don't last as long. So they'll often need to be replaced every anywhere from 3 to 15 years, depending on the type of lead acid battery. They also have a relatively low energy density, and energy density is simply how much energy can I pack into an amount of space. And since lead acid batteries have relatively low energy density, they take up quite a bit more space. And that may or may not be an issue depending on the conditions on the site.